Today I'm going to show you how to remove pick scratches from a guitar in just a few easy steps. A lot of people don't think twice about polishing swirls and light to medium depth pick scratches on their guitars. But when you're trying to sell a guitar online and need to take photos of every angle, doing some easy guitar scratch removal can mean the difference between a good and very good condition listing on sites like Reverb. This method can also work for some scratches on mirrors and plastics like pick guards as well. So stick around until the end of the video to see those results. For around $20, you can set yourself up with an easy guitar scratch repair kit that will definitely go a long way towards restoring the look of your guitar. This method works best for light pick scratch removal and getting rid of polishing swirls. But if you do have some deeper scratches, it can definitely help to make them less noticeable. Once you acquire these things, they'll last for a bunch of uses, so not a bad time to fix up all your other guitars while you're at it. Guitar finishes share a lot of the same properties as automotive finish. That's why you often see people using automotive polish products on guitars. We're doing that too. There's no real huge secret here. You'll need a few things. The best brand name scratch remover you can find. For me, this was a choice between Simon Eye Scratch Repair, which came with a cloth, and Meguiar Scratch X 2.0. You'll also need three to four microfiber cloths and some normal guitar pump polish. I went with a couple glass cleaning microfiber cloths and the Meguiar Scratch X 2.0, which was just a couple more dollars than the Simon Eyes. And yeah, it really is as simple as car scratch remover. But now I'm gonna give you the process and tips for the best possible results. First, flip that bad boy over and find some back scratches because you always wanna test on an inconspicuous surface. I already know that this stuff won't affect the finishes on the guitars I'm working on so I'm safe to go ahead with a more liberal application in a more prominent area. Next, you want to clean your surface to get rid of any dust or debris, etc. You can just wipe this with a cloth, dry or damp with a bit of water, or even use a little pump polish. So look at this gnarly bit of pick scratching. Someone just hammered on this poor guitar in this one place by the bridge. It's pretty much flawless all over, except for the part where someone repeatedly slashed it with what appears to be a serrated steak knife. Seriously heavy hand, dude. We're gonna fix that. Let's start with a very small amount on a clean cloth or a Q-tip and start working it in. We're gonna repeat this process a few times, so make sure you have separate cloths for each step. You need to make sure you're applying a lot of pressure to really work it into the scratches. The number one reason this method won't work as quickly is if you don't use enough pressure. So lean in on that shit until it cries for its mama. You also want your cloth when you're working the scratch remover in to be just a single layer thick. Don't ball this thing up. It just won't work as well with the transfer of pressure. After you've worked the scratch remover in to the point where it's dry and you can't really see it anymore, take a clean microfiber cloth and start buffing it out with the same amount of pressure. If this doesn't work the first time, your scratches are probably a bit deeper, so just keep repeating the process until you see reasonable results. For me, this is usually about two to four times. After that, just wipe it down with a bit of pump polish to give it a bit of a seal. It's really that easy. Just remember, you need to apply pressure to make this method work well. It's not always a miracle cure, but by the time you're finished, you'll have a decent shot at removing most light to medium guitar scratches. This process works similarly well on mirrors. I'm using it on this mirrored guitar. As you can see, it works pretty well on pick guards and plastics too. Thanks for checking out this easy guitar restoration video. For more guitar tips, buying and selling advice, and reviews, make sure to subscribe.